to go. Okay, so a lot of people think that this fish is not edible because it's a, a type of carp and it's full of bones. But if you do it correctly, uh, you're going to find that this is a terrific piece of meat. It comes out like a white uh, meat, like a normal fish, but you got to prepare it a certain way. So you fillet it normally like a normal fish. Just kind of start down the uh, scale it and start down the backbone. And cut it off the rib cage. And once you have it off and ready to cook, I'll show you what the next step is. white meat yep you see it but it's full of small little bones and the catch is is that when you cook it you have to you need to make like cuts along the fillet uh, before you fry it so you need to deep fry it you need to deep fry it pretty thoroughly uh, and I'll show you right now what you need to do with the fillet is on the on the meat side is cut it every like three-eighths of an inch so when you fry it the actual like heat of the fry of the grease will cook the little bones that are in this uh, uh, carp meat and as long as it stays together and stays consistent, the, the bones won't be there when you eat it. And we'll get to that part in a bit. So that's how you prepare it. Culvert. Now I have the River Red Horse, and it's a fish that a lot of people just don't consider an edible fish. But the secret is if you fillet it normally, cut it right off the bone like a normal fish fillet, and then once you get the fillet off from the inside, cut the meat down to the skin about every three eighths of an inch before you deep fry it. Keep the skin on the other side on. Done. It finally paid off. Scale it, of course. And once you deep fry it, you want to deep fry it pretty uh, thoroughly. And that will cook all the little bones that are between the meat up. And they'll just disappear. They'll cook out. And obviously you want to add some cornmeal. And once it's completed, it'll be a really tasty piece of fish. Now I split the fillets in half because it's a pretty long piece of fish and one thing you really want to try to do is maintain the consistency of the fish and of the fillet when you cook it because if it breaks the bones will be, will be exposed and they won't cook all the way through. So make sure that it's a manageable piece that you can flip over easily while it's cooking and it should result in an excellent piece of fish. So for this type of fish, red horse, you have to fry it very, very thoroughly, almost to, not burnt, but a very deep fry. And that will take all the little bones in between each, between each little piece of meat that you cut and cook them. And they won't be there when you eat it. And it should be a tasty piece of fish once you're done. So think twice about throwing this fish back if you catch one.